Babylon. Every day you wake up alive, you consider yourself lucky. But luck, like a 45, all depends on which way the barrel's pointing. The city's divided between the haves and the have-nots. Everybody's fighting to keep one foot out of the grave. To stay alive is just a matter of timing. Flesh, Sam Flesh. Being a PI ain't the niftiest job, but it lets me pack a rod, and I've got an itchy trigger finger. <coughs> no, I'm Mystic. His partner. Trust me. <coughs> Sam, he, he's the best at what he does. Could you hold him up, please? Hi! -ya! That's right, five twenty Valium. Mr. Flesh will be expecting you. A client. Client. Haven't heard that word in a while. Not since my partner Axel was retired with a 38 slug between the shoulders. Mystic Adams, my secretary. Till I met her, she was just another broad with a broken heart and a long story. The poor old man left her and her kid sitting in a puddle of tears for some two-bit blonde bimbo named Bambi. She had a lot of heart and didn't ask questions. And a woman like that is hard to find. Nice flip, kid. Thanks, boss. It's all in the book. Axel said the only things you can trust in life is luck and your rod. Then again, he was shot down in the back with his own gun. When you're a P.I., bad luck goes with the turf, like the paperwork. Mr. Flesh? She smelled like money and moved like a well-oiled gear. Her smile exploded like a Roman candle in my skull. I knew her type, and they all meant one thing to me, trouble. You may not believe this, but right now I'm the most wanted woman in Babylon. It wasn't the best shot, but I could see what she meant. Please, uh... Sit down. Her eyes sliced through my flesh and cut to my very heart. She crossed a pair of gams that tightened my throat like a shot of peanut butter. So, what can I do for you, Miss Lost? Lana, please. Last Monday, I was running late for work. As I got on the bus, I saw this woman being beaten. I realized it was my sister. As the bus drove off, one of the men pulled a gun. He pointed it at her head and... Please, uh, continue. She was gone. I felt nothing. 
not even emptiness. Just nothing. I've left my job, my flat. I can't even think straight. Sam, you've got to help me. I've lost my soul. Get a hold of yourself, Flesh. Don't let the skirt shake you. Sure, your kid brother got all choked up in a communion service. Was it your fault you didn't know the Heimlich? Stop blaming yourself. He wanted to save your soul, but ended up fertilizing daisies. Look, miss, I don't take religious cases. I've got nowhere else to turn. There's plenty of other gumshoes in this town. They've all laughed and turned me away. Please, Sam. Have a heart. I had a heart once. But it was ripped out of my chest and spit on by a broad like her. Get out of here, doll. Things were quickly escalating out of control and into a matter of principle, of ethics. Let him who's without sin. Look, Lana, this could be... Dangerous. Yeah. It'll be hard to remain... Objective. In... Yeah. You know what I really want? She read my mind. Her lips felt, well, lucky. Things were quickly heating up. Thanks, Mom. Listen, doll. I got some leads to check out. You wait for me here. This could be my lucky day. That's right, Miss Vilga. We specialize in finding lost things. Sorry, boss. Keep an eye on the dame. Get her some lunch or something. So, you lost your wallet. That car hadn't been there an hour ago, but then again, neither had I. If trouble had a name, it'd be Damien Livid. Sam, what a pleasant surprise. He was king of the suits and Babylon was his kingdom. I was on my way to evict one of my tenants in this building, but I'm glad I ran into you first. I have a case you might be interested in. Not for a million bucks. How about 5,000? I have this friend. He had a certain young lady working for him. Sadly, her family suffered a terrible loss. And the girl disappeared. I'm full up right now. Livid stooges, Larry and Mo. I could take them, but not yet. Sam, you're not still sore about Cynthia, are you? I've always told you, love is simply a matter of economics. She left you for better things. Lana. two sides of the same coin, you and I. Why try to fight yourself? Come on, Sam. It'll be like old times. <laughs> Careful, Sam. I can squash you like a bug. We're smart before. Don't blow it now. The stakes were rising. Livet had a full <laughs> house, and I had a pair of deuces. 
with no cards up my sleeve, it meant only one thing. Trouble. This case was eaten at my brain like maggots on a roadkill. My past was sucker punching me in the gut at every turn. To stay ahead of the game, I needed an edge. I decided to go see Blind Eddie. He knew the streets. Some bullet head down at the hole wanted to send him over for plugging his old man. But I pulled a few strings and got him off. He owed me a favor. If anyone knew about souls, it was him. Let's just say people didn't go to see Eddie to get their shoes shined. Sam, haven't seen you for a long time. He wasn't kidding. Eddie, I need some answers and I need them fast. Religious case, eh? How'd you know? Everybody knows Sam. Dame says she's lost her soul. And we all? Come on, Eddie, drop me a line. See where this was leading, and that meant only one thing, trouble. But I haven't been to church since. It's time to face it, Sam. And Livid won't make it easy. He's had it in for you since day one. Sam, help me up. What's the word on the street? Take a look for yourself, Sam. Take a look for yourself. I could read the writing on the wall, and it spelled out only one thing, trouble. Every move I made seemed to put my soul in as much danger as Lana's. With hellfire burning at every turn, I seemed to be going from one sticky situation to the next. What I needed was answers. What I was getting was trouble. Hello there, Cricket. That darling secretary of yours told me I might find you here. Hello, Cynthia. <laughs> Have you seen Damien lately? You know, he always saw you as the one that got away. He does love power, you know. What do you want, Cynthia? You got it all, the house, the car. Oh, Sam, I sold those a long time ago. Drink! I have this problem. It works for my husband, but it's recently disappeared. Does uh, it have blonde hair? <laughs> Quick. That's what I always loved about you, Sam. You were always so quick. Anyway, ever since it arrived a few months ago, my allowance has been slowly withering away. Shade! <laughs> I don't want to be poor, Sam. It's why I left you. And all this time, I thought it was my cooking. <laughs> That it doesn't return, won't you, Sam?
I'll do my best. Flesh Investigations, this is Mystic. Oh, hi, boss. It's for you. Listen up, doll, and listen good. Because I'm only going to say this once. Things are moving fast, see? Each move could be my last. What's going on, Sam? I don't know if I'm going to make it. Well, I... I just want you to know that... It never would have worked for us, kid. I'm from the wrong side of the track, see? We would have been like fire and water. But, Sam, I think I... Forget about me, baby. Maybe one day this world will be safe for a love like ours. But not now. There's too much pain. Forget about me, Lana. I was headed for a rendezvous with fate, a date with destiny. To find Lana's soul, I would have to face my demons. And I knew they weren't going down without a fight. I only hoped the church had the answers and pray it didn't seal my doom. to make a love offering? Just browsing. Uh, church needs a new parking lot. I gave it the office. Two dollar admission. This is my admission. Have a good time. Like a circus, huh? It's your beach TV. You ain't got no shoes. Huh? You ain't got no shoes. Here, hurry up, put them on. No, lady, I don't want your shoes. You put them on. I don't know why I keep coming back here. It's not like the old days, you know. But times change. You just gotta trust that people are learning. You know? Thanks. I found it. Meet me at the church. I still had questions. Questions that stuck in my teeth like yesterday's lunch. The church didn't have the answer. But something in my gut told me it was pointing the right way. Snap out of it, Flesh. She's just another broad. Once she gets in your head, she'll just tap dance on your brain. Let her go. Help! Help! Help me! Don't try anything, Flesh! Give 
You know why I like you, Sam? You're predictable. And thus, safe. You know when you're beat. And that takes a big man. No! Just as I thought. Real bullets. Take your shoes off for you. Thanks, hon. What's for supper? Steak and potatoes. Your favorite. Mm. returns to his vomit. I needed a drink. I could taste those five fingers of firewater simmering down my craw and taking me to that Neverland ballroom. Wait a minute. That's just what he wants. For me to lie down and let things go. were made to be broken. Well, you can't get in there looking like that. She was right. I needed a disguise, like my old suit. If Livet could pretend to be human, I could play his game as well. And like a wolf in sheep's clothing, it was dinner time. Take me with you, Sam. Sorry, kid. Some things you gotta do alone. Good luck, Sam. Hopefully luck would have nothing to do with it. He's going there alone, Eddie. What should I do? Get all the guns you can and meet me at the warehouse. You guys ready for some action? Yeah. 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 out of a warehouse on Stoneheart and Fifth. I was mad, and that meant only one thing, trouble. Livid was going down. I hadn't been here in years, but I knew the score. Livid recruited all his suits from the streets and sucked their brains with the promise of the good life. All he asked for in return is their soul. They have no idea that opening that door is the last choice they'll ever make. I'm glad you're here. We can use the help. Where's Livid? Doc 3, reprogramming.
the pieces of the puzzle were finally starting to fall into place. Lana's one of the few people who woke up from this nightmare screaming for a way out. Livid was after her soul, whatever way he could get it. Unfortunately for him, I heard her cries. I only hoped I wasn't too late. Where's Lana? She wandered off. She looked dazed. Sorry, Sam. Livid got away. You did fine, kid. Come Monday, we'll talk about a raise. Luck, when you're in love, you don't need luck. I felt alive for the first time in years. I emerged unscathed from the belly of the beast. My luck had turned as if something or someone had been watching out for me. But my mind was on love, and I had the feeling I knew just where to find it. Hey, Gumshoe, going my way? Babylon, anything can happen, even a happy ending. Livid was still loose, but the city was free. We were together, 
I could tell by the way she kissed me that deep down she found what she was looking for, and a whole lot more. As we danced, I knew this was the beginning of a beautiful relationship. I was in love, and that meant only one thing, trouble. Trouble in paradise, that is.